Whether it's good or bad, or they're just joking, they all love to talk about us all the time. Like Miss Campy Wrong and Jesse Roth. Am I attacking Jesse Roth or Miss Can Ms. I Camp say something, <coughs> please? Jesse Roth, first of all, I didn't see you in my chat the other night, and if I did, I would have put you up on the screen because you're 100% right. Um, I agree with you, so does Ange. We all agree Why with you. Why don't you go to hell, Jesse? <laughs> Jesse the Sloth, TBD. Oh. Um, this can't be wrong. Yeah, I thought they both you guys are Jesse. You guys are great. What? Well, uh, you're the best. Badasses. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're nobody to fuck with. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Right, that's, that's right. Uh, Jesse Roth, these are all my standards. On the internet. He's smarter than everybody. To all your simps out there, Jesse Roth, Miss Can't Be Wrong, all you people that follow this. Miss Can't Be Wrong saying hi to Jesse Roth. Hi, hi, Jesse Roth, Jesse Roth. Hi, Miss Can't Be Wrong. Hi, this one and that one and this. Well, hello, everyone. No, Michael, I did not demote you. I had no clue your wrench was missing. Um, probably a YouTube glitch or something. I have no clue. Um, so hang on, let me say hello. Hello, Miss Can't Be Wrong. Hello, Michael Hensley, Mandy, Soretti, how are you? Edward, Everett. How are you? Hang on, Michael. Hang on. I have to take your wrench now so I can give it back to you. There you go. You're back. D. Ganey, how are you, sweetheart? So I wanted to um, I wanted to educate some trolls on a few things. Hello, Christopher Capello. So, hang on, let me get to my community page. I had it all set up, and then somebody not saying names, Miss Camp, you're wrong, <laughs> was texting me. So I kind of got thrown off. Um, I did a show, um, on my liars and looky loose. And then of course, another fat ginger decides they're going to post a comment about, I should do a show that people mistake me for mama June. Um, First of all, another fat ginger, I know who you are, so knock the shit off. Um, second of all, why do you only come at my looks? You know, when I proceed to, to talk about somebody, I go off of something they've done or something that they say or do. Um, I don't go after looks. Unfortunately, that's all you have. And then I got another nugget of win wisdom that, um, you know, I was called a hypocrite because um, my friends have paid money to find out information on people. That's not my friends. I don't do what my friends do. My friends don't do what I do. They're their own people. They can do what they want. Um, I do what I want. If I say I don't like doxing and I don't like talking about people's families, I'm speaking for myself. My friends speak for themselves. And we get along just fine, me and my friends. We don't have to be lumped in with each other. We enjoy each other as individuals. So me saying I don't like, me saying I wouldn't spend money 
to dig up information on somebody I don't like. All right, that's me. That's not my friends. That's also not me being a hypocrite if my friends do it. A hypocrite would be if I said I don't like it when people do that and then I do that. That's hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is not me saying I don't like it when this is done and someone else does it. That's not hypocrisy. All right. So this is where I'm going to school you. Learn the definition of words before you run around yelling them. There's a lot of people that yell and scream a lot of words on here that I don't think they know the meaning of. So now we've got that out of the way. Um, shook. Listen, anything that's said online is public knowledge. If you don't want people talking about what's said on your show, whether it be by you or one of your guests, don't put it on the show. Don't allow it on the show. You know, you're, you're having your friend Maureen spend all this money digging up charges on SoFlo so you can post them on your community page one page at a day, as you say and you're having her read them online, then you can't expect that people aren't going to comment on it. All right? It's not a matter of minding my own business. If you didn't want people to talk about it or hear it, you wouldn't put it on your show. If it were a matter about minding your own business, I would tell you, then don't comment on my post. But I put it up there. I know people are going to read it. I don't give a shit what you say. Sugar. I don't care what you say about what I put on my page. And that post wasn't even about you. It was about your madam of misinformation. All right? Because she lies. And she's a backstabber. So you can have her. Now, with that said, with that said, um, I didn't watch too much YouTube last night after my friends went off the air or went off to do whatever they went to do. It's not off the air, I guess. It's off the internet. Um, I pretty much watched movies and you know, stayed off of YouTube last night, only to find out this morning, and that's why I was running a little bit late. Apparently, there was a 10-hour show on last night. So, I started a couple hours ago trying to listen to some of it. I didn't listen to all of it. Um, I started around hour six, and it was pretty funny because... Um, Hang on one second, guys. I'm trying to pull something up here. Um, when I first tuned in, there's Maureen and MRE talking about that she didn't like that. I guess that uh, there was a video made about Casparosa because her and Casparosa are friends, which suits them. Right, because they're both liars and backstabbers, so they should be friends with each other. Per makes perfect sense, but she's arguing that the, I guess it was the, I didn't hear the beginning of it, so, but I'm assuming it's the liar, lying informants video. It's the one where, um, Casparosa's talking about all sorts of stuff about, um, I don't even want to say it because it's not, you know. I don't want to bring up people's families and stuff like that. But anyway, she's going off about saying that it's it's chopped up clips. It's not all one clip. And MRE is like, yeah, but, you know, Maureen, that's how the clip channels do it. You take an hour show and you clip it down to a shorter version. And, you know, not that, not to give MRE any credit, but he's not wrong. That's what you do. You, you know, you can't, you can only listen to somebody so much. You got to clip it down 
take the highlights, you know, the contradictory parts, put them together. And that's how you make a clip show. Um, so that was funny to listen to. And then um, there was Marky Mark going at MRE. That was pretty funny. Um, not that I care for Marky Mark after some of the things I've seen him say about me. Um, to which I never did anything to him either. But um, some of the things he had to say to MRE was pretty funny. Um, and then Casparosa came on. And this is what we heard. This is what I heard after that. Hi. <laughs> chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. So, let's see here. Oh, hi, Argo. How are you? Are you guys kicking the trolls out for me? Thank you. Who did a 10-hour show? I was at the casino. Um, Angel did. And I got to tell you, um, well, Adam, I, I guess I, that lawyer Adam was up there, but I don't think he was actually there. I think he, like, you know, he was up on screen, but... I, he probably dropped down hours before because he, from the bit that I heard, he hadn't said a word. Um, but Angel and Marlo were probably the only two well spoken people on there, you know, between um, MRE, Casparosa, Maureen, Marky Mark. Um, I don't know. I don't remember if BK got it. Did BK jump up there? Yeah, uh, I think Marky Mark and BK got into it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that was just funny. That I do recommend it. Started at about the six hour mark. That's what I started at. I woke up early and she was on still. And MRE and Kaz were going at it, and Pizza was trying to grab the link. Oh, see, I hadn't, I haven't even gotten that far yet, Christopher. Hello, Argo, my pet. How are you? Well, apparently, somebody named Morbid doesn't like me. That's fine. You don't have to like me. Bye-bye. My friends here will show you the door. Casper Rosa said MRE snitched on John Minor, and he deflected like a mofo, and Cass said in his hidden file 230 transcripts and 30 emails, and he said he won't get the file unsealed 100% rent. Oh, listen. Hey, look. I have no doubt MRE is a rat. I don't need it. Here's the thing. I don't need to see anymore. He doesn't even need to unseal his file. I already think he's a rat. But my point with Casparosa is he's dragging people into it that don't need to be dragged into it. He keeps pushing this issue that MRE is never going to unseal his file. Like, all you're going to do is cause yourself trauma and trouble. Just work on your book, work on your documentary, go about getting your evidence and leave it off of YouTube. You know? Casparosa wants to be a journalist, then act like one. He's not acting like one. There's a certain level of responsibility that comes with journalism. You don't want to put stuff out there unless you know it's 100% accurate. Um, now, if you're going to put something out there about his sealed files, say, yes, he has sealed files. He's refusing to unseal it. You need to say, it is my opinion that he's a snitch. You need to say, 
opinion. You can't sit there and go 100% he's a snitch. I mean, we all have the opinion that he is, absolutely. Um, but he's just going to get himself in trouble, and he's causing himself a lot of trouble. And he's a liar, too. He lied to me. So screw him. Screw them both. I don't like MRE or Casparos at this point. Morbid, you're not a plane. You don't need to announce your leaving. <laughs> All right. So what else here? I woke up to take a piss and couldn't go back to sleep till it was over. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't even gotten to that point yet. I didn't even, I didn't watch any of it last night, and I woke up and I heard about it. So I kind of skimmed through it because I kind of had a hint that MRE and Casparosa had gone at it. So I, I kind of skipped ahead until I saw it, and I didn't see both of them on there until about hour, just before hour six, I guess. Hey, Dave, how are you, sweetie? Hey, Kat, how are you, sweetheart? Oh, that was funny. That was funny. Oh, I read, there was one thing he said to MRE. I, I can't remember it, but it was so funny. It was something to the effect of, uh, about him not having kids <laughs> i forget exactly what it was um but it was pretty funny and i don't even care for marky mark i heard she wouldn't let pizza on and i also just heard a while ago what pizza said about you and i over there what did he say about us miss campy rod see that's the thing i don't pay attention to a lot of this i know I know people think I'm on YouTube 24-7. I'm really not. Argo, one time he was shitting in sons. It was crazy. Oh, I'm doing great, Kat. Thank you. Miss Can't Be Wrong, what did he say? Do you want to come up? I'm going to drop the link. Someone played the clip, otherwise I had no idea. Well, what did he say, Miss Campy Wrong? I'm curious. I really don't care. I mean, pizza, whatever. Pizza's pizza. You know, back to the initial topic of my show. These trolls that like to come at me on my... Um, on my uh, community page. Um, again, I'm not my friends. My friends do what my friends do. Sometimes I don't like what they do. Sometimes they don't like what I do. But we're still friends. It doesn't mean that I endorse every single thing that every single person does. I personally don't care who gives their money to who. I really don't. I don't give a shit. All right, Miss Can't Be Wrong. Hang on one second. I don't care who gives their money to who. And I don't care who's friends with who. I just stay away from the people I don't like. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey. Yeah, somebody finally, Sun Grown. I was over at Sun Grown's and he played the clip. Finally, I heard exactly what Pizza said about me and you and of course he called me you know what he normally calls me and angel was stopping him angel's like look you know you're talking about miss can't be wrong and jesse you're going to get me in a whole lot of trouble and he goes when they talk about me 
And Angel did say, she's like, yeah, she's like, but what are you saying about them? You know, to cause it, he's like, well, they're saying stuff about me. And she's like, like what? And she's like, they're, you know, they're just saying they feel sorry for my mom and that kind of stuff. And she's like, look, that ain't talking, you know, that ain't talking bad about you, you know. And um, <clears throat> he's like, well, you know, they, you know, and Marla was kind of agging him on a little bit, I noticed. Mm -hmm. You know, she, Angel's like, well, didn't they give you money? And he's like, well, $2, big whoop. And, you know, Marla was laughing. She's like, your ace is in my book, pizza. Like the whole time, you know, he was talking shit, you know. Mm hmm and um yeah that's about what it amounted to was you know just that piece of, you know whining well but, i mean guys, they didn't let him get away with it though and guys this is why i know a lot of you give me a hard time about you guys think i cut angel slack listen i don't cut her slack i there she has a heart i do know that maybe not for some people hey, and that's her kids. sorry and that's all right. And that's her prerogative. Um, but when it comes to, I mean, I can't, you know, I, I know Miss can't be wrong. I know how you would answer and what you would say, but between me and Angel, I mean, I've known Angel a lot longer than most people on here internet wise anyway. I mean, we don't know each other personally, but we've known each other internet wise and Angel and I have a certain level of respect for each other. Okay. Um, she and I don't come at each other. Um, she and I are very civil to each other. Um, I'm sure she wonders why I hang out with some of you guys. And I wonder why she hangs out with some of her friends. Um, but that's why, like, the other, you know, Angel will, Angel will stick up for us, Miss Campion. Well, she I she do. let him on there because, let's face it, she was mildly bored and wanted to be entertained. And, you know, she knew he would say some shit, you know, that's what I feel like. Oh, I'm not going to deny that. I mean, she, you know, it's her show. She's going to bring on, would I bring him on? No, no, I wouldn't, no, no. I wouldn't bring him on. I'd have a better time just picking on him. You know, just listen, I actually don't talk about pizza that much. I really don't. Um, because... I just leave him alone. I don't bother with him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't go into his chat anymore. I don't, you know, I really don't bother with him. Um, but you know what? I have noticed, um, Miss Can't Be Wrong, you and I, we each have our own, like, different individual haters. Did you notice mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> like, my 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 haters come from, like, the MRE sugar camp. Your haters come from, like, the pizza camp. <laughs> pizza and sugar booger, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I noticed that. But, yeah, I did. She, you know, she probably had pizza on. She was, it's her show. Yeah. Yep. You know, again, like I said, I mean, I'm not going to, whatever. Um, and Angel, if you stuck up for us, thank you. I appreciate that. I do appreciate that very much. Um, you know, there was, I made a comment in someone's chat. They were talking about if Mob Tube ever became a movie and, um, that'd be interesting. <laughs> that would be interesting, but she mistook what I said, you know, who would play her. She was assuming I meant harm by it and I didn't. And I apologized and she understood it. She and I kind of have like an understanding. I mean, we're not hurtful to each other. Um, I, you know, again, like I said, she probably wonders why I hang out with some of the people I do as much as I wonder why she hangs out with some of the people she does. No. You know? Marla, I don't have any, Marla's never done anything to me personally. I'm, you know, I don't have an issue with her. Um, Angela is another one. I kind of, you know, I know a lot of you guys don't like her, but, you know. Yeah, she was kind of cheering pizza on in a way. I got the impression, you know. Well, she likes pizza as a form of entertainment, um, which is fine. You're, you're free to do that. I, I don't listen pizza can be funny pizza can be hysterical uh, i'll give him that there were things he was doing that he does that are so funny 
but it it's the vile racial crap that I can't stand. And that's why I just don't bother, you know? Um, you know, back in November when I gave him a couple dollars for a cup of coffee around the holidays, I didn't realize it was going to be a big issue, you know? I mean, and kind of part of my point with that whole thing was all these people have to come at me with is that I was nice to somebody. Yeah. You know, granted, it was pizza. And I get it. And I understand why people were taken back. But why are you going to be um, hurtful to somebody that's being nice to someone? Right. And most of them had given to him at one time or the other or two. Right. Or had so, been in the chat and had a wrench or, you know, whatever. So. And that's perfectly fine, FBS. That's, you know, you and her have a different history. So you and her have different feelings about each other. And I would never, um, I would never tell you you're wrong. And I, you know. Because I do know, I do saw, I did see some of what was said. Um, yeah, I, I kind of, you know, agree with FBS, you know, you know, because I guess she, you know, feels like, you know, she's letting him get away with saying, you know, yeah. So, but well, here's she's what thinking I, what she wants to say. Who, Marla? Yeah, well, I don't know Marla that well, so I'm not going to make a judgment on her. Um, I, you know, if I don't know people that well or whatever, sometimes I just keep things to myself. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, when somebody's talking shit about people and you're sitting there laughing about it, I mean. Well, yeah, it is bad. Um, yeah, that doesn't look good. It just don't. She's cheering up. I have got... She was cheering him, guys, was saying about Missy and the total bull. Yeah, see, I didn't see it. So she was cheering pizza on when he was saying that about She us. was laughing and going, you're aces, pizza, because Angel would, you know, try, be trying to kind of calm it down. And she was saying, you're aces, in my opinion, pizza. You know, after he said that shit. Right, because Marla uh, apparently was putting her in a position she didn't want to be in. And, right, 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 yeah. Um... Hang on, guys. Hang on. I get distracted here. <laughs> um, it's okay. If a character was made after Marla, Argo, be nice, behave. Listen, I uh, look. I don't want. Listen, you can tell yes, your feelings. Game. Yes, yes. You could tell your feelings about people, but it, you know, I don't. <laughs> Um, let's not, let's not, you know, let's be honest. Let's, let's be <laughs> honest, not mean. How about that? Does that sound right? Um, well, that's Marla's prerogative and it's also our prerogative to not pay attention to people we don't care about either. Correct. I mean, it, fine, if she wants to cheer on pizza, that's her prerogative. It doesn't mean we have to cheer her on either, you know? And I had a thought in my head, and right out of my head it went. And this is what I say when that happens. <laughs> Chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken pot pie. That's all. I was being honest. LOL, FBS even agreed. Marla is an embarrassment to her. Well, listen, I'm not going to get in on. <sighs> That's not my fight. Um. <laughs> um. I don't understand why Marla would defend him. I really don't. Um, to me, he is vile in that respect. Um, 
you know, him and Amari, they're right up there. And I, you know, to me, I perceive them as horrible, vile people. Marla, for some reason, likes them. I'm not going to say that's good, but it's her choice. She's an adult. I can't, you know, we can't tell people who to like and who to not like. <laughs> right, that's right, FBS. That's what your show is for. <laughs> That's true, Mandy. People overlook things for the people they like. It is what it is. That's true. Hey, Jeff. How are you doing? Hey, Jeff Canarsie. How are you? Um, yeah, you know what? Listen, there's certain things, um, certain things I over, you know, that my friends do that I'm just like, whatever. You know, I... I get people that come to me all the time and go, well, your friends did this and that and blah, blah, blah. Well, they're my friends. They're not me. I don't always care for what my friends do, but I don't dress them down either because it's, they're grown adults. They do what they want to do. And listen, if I go at somebody and say, you know, let's say, Miss Can't Be Wrong, let's say you're trashing pizza. And I say, you know, Miss Can't Be Wrong, we really shouldn't do that on my on the show and blah, blah, blah. And all right, so let's pretend to your show, Miss Kate, you're wrong. <laughs> um, oh. if, if you're trashing pizza on your show, Miss Kate, you're wrong. And I say to you, you know, I don't like it that you're trashing pizza. You know, I don't like him, but we shouldn't trash him and blah, blah, blah. What are you going to tell me? You're going to tell me it's your show. You're going to say what you want, right? Yeah, right. yeah, I've, yeah. I've made my point to you that I don't yep. like it. Yeah. Um, I've made my point to you that I don't like it, but you're going to do what you want to do anyway. Right. So yep. what's more important to me, my friendship with you or arguing with you about something you're going to do on your show? My friendship, obviously. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be like, okay, she knows my feelings. Yeah. She you've knows given me your opinion and. What happens and, after that happens? And we move on from there. You know, there's things everybody on here has said that has made me mad at some point. And I'm sure there's things I've said that has made everyone else mad. You know, it, it doesn't mean that everybody endorses what everyone else does. Yeah, sometimes the people we like say things that we don't agree with. And, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so thirsty today. I have to keep stopping to take a drink. Um, uh -oh, what do we have? Trouble building up here? Yeah, are you coming on, Jeff? Do you guys want to come up? I'll drop the link for anybody that wants to come up. Hey, Dana, how are you doing? Guys, feel free to donate if you'd like uh, the information. Oh, I didn't put my banner up. Uh, let me put the banner up. There we go. The information's at the bottom of the screen or the top of the chat. Please feel free to donate. If you can't donate or don't want to, um, share the channel. Hey, Dana, how are you, sweetie? Tom Sheehy, my sweetheart, did I say hello to you? I know there's a bunch of people in here I probably didn't say hello to. FBS, Dana. So what are you up to, Jeff Canarsie? He's probably up to no good. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. Nobody wants to come up. Nobody wants to come up and chat. Come on. Yeah, somebody it. else come up. I'm just, you know, not I'm not as talkative as I normally am. <laughs> I'm slow today. Real slow today. Yeah, I know. I actually I you know had a whole thing. 
I was going to go off about these trolls and then that 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 angel show just kind of <laughs> I didn't even know we were brought up on it last night. That's it was news to me. Like I said, I only Well, I don't know about last night, but not before last was when Oh, Peter oh, was the on other there. show. Okay. Now last night I heard he was trying to get on there and she wouldn't let him on there. That's what I heard. Oh, okay. You're talking about the night before. Yep, yep. Last night he I heard he tried to get on there and she she won't drop won't drop the link for him or wouldn't let him on. Right. But who knows? A lot can happen in the course of ten hours. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Hey Chicago you know, like, Muscle. What's up? I was saying hey to Chicago Muscle. Oh, hey Muscle, how are you? So I will speed things up, but good. Tonight, <laughs> laugh <at> my ass. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, you know, a lot of my friends don't care for a lot of my other friends, and that's fine. Yeah. But they all understand I stay out of it. You got a personal thing with that one? You take it up with that one. Um. But you know what? I will say, if we have to talk about quote sides. The people over on this side are a little more understanding. Like, I could go into any chat room of my friends on this side and maybe somebody will say, hey, how come you were in so-and-so's chat room? I saw you say hi. And that could be all I said. Hi, everyone. You know, and I'll explain them. Look, I'm over there. There's people over there I care about, blah, blah, blah. And that's the end of it. But, you know, lately I go into Angels and I don't, well, I haven't been going into Angels lately because of the way I get treated. Um, and, you know, that's not to say that Angel and Angela don't bounce the trolls out to pick on me, but there's people in there that'll make smart ass remarks. It's not even trolls. It's like, oh, well, you are in so, well, okay, first of all, all right, yeah, okay, I was in SoFlo's chat. Who did who did I talk about in SoFlo's chat? I'll tell you who I talk about. I talk about Johnny Mac. I talk about Maureen, Casparosa, and that's about it. If you're trying to stir up trouble with anybody else, forget it. I only talk about people that do things to me personally, you know? Maybe once in a while you might get something about um, pizza if you brought up my name. Or, once again, sugar if he talks about me. He gets brought up. But other than that, show me screenshots of me talking mad shit about people. You're not going to find them. Because it, it never happened. Oh, exactly, Muscle. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem, you know. Miss Camp, you're wrong. Drop your cash app, too. Sean Mercury, who was MRE talking about when he said they sent him a blanket with his sister on it. That I don't know, Sean Mercury. I don't... Did somebody do that to him? Well, thank you, FBS. Thank you for the generous donation. Let me read the links here. Oh, Chicago Muscles at the store. <laughs> um, Listen, sure. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have done things to MRE, but MRE's done a lot of things to other people, too. All right. Um, yeah, he said on Angel's show just before he got off. 
listen, I, you know, the last thing I, I hate is like, I hate when somebody gets asked about themselves and then, um, they try to spin it on somebody else, but I'm going to go ahead and say, nobody's innocent in this. None of us are innocent. We've all done things. We've all said things. Um, it's just to what degree and you know here's what i don't understand though what fbs i don't know if you're still in the chat neither angel nor fbs have been even talking about each other and then all of a sudden it seems like somebody's gotten into their ear and they're both saying stuff now like you know for several months now though neither one of them have been even talking about each other no jesse it's because she put pizza on oh okay all right is that what okay that's why okay all right all right, I didn't realize that. Honestly, I haven't been watching her shows lately. So I only hear, um, I mean, I think maybe two shows ago, I popped in and said, hey, Angel, have a good show. And that was it. Um, but I haven't seen her, actually watched her last couple of shows. So that's the only, okay, all right. Well, that clears that up. See, look, I can ask FBS a question and he'll answer it. Her straight up answer. Yeah. You know what? It's because she had beats on. Yep. I think I'm going to jump down in the chat, Jesse. Uh, you're going to leave me up here to talk by myself and get dry now. Oh, you're doing <laughs> fine. You're doing fine. This is just one of them days where it's a weird day. Normally, I have so much to say. You know that normally. <laughs> I ha I'm having, I have my coffee sitting here, my water sitting here, my um snapple iced tea more water like i cannot drink enough to keep uh i don't know i'm just thirsty today <laughs> yeah or, yeah yeah i've been like that <clears throat> all right well i'll i'll bump you down all righty i'll be in the chat girl okay does anybody else want to come up i'm gonna drop the link again if anybody has anything they want to say um but yeah, what I was saying, look, you know, I ask a question at FBS, he'll flat out tell me. He doesn't give me a hard time. He knows I'm not trying to disrespect him. Um, well, and I do agree with that, Argo. Like I said, I personally would never have pizza on here. It's my fault, my feeling. Um, Angel chooses to put pizza up there listen i'm not gonna knock her for it but i will say this when you choose to put someone up there like that you need to expect that you're gonna have some people that are gonna be upset and that's why i would never put pizza up there i don't want to hurt people i care about i don't even want to hurt people you guys know me i don't even like to hurt people i don't care about so there's certain people that will never be allowed on my show ever um, pizza being one of them. You know, like I said, I just, I don't even like hurting people I don't like. Um, doesn't mean I won't if they don't deserve it, but, um, it's just not something I would do. I would never bring pizza up here. I would never bring, um, oh, Johnny Mac would never be up here. Um, Maureen's never welcome up here. She lies and she's a backstabber. Um, 
and B would never be welcome up here. Um, Casparosa, nope, he lied to me, nope, never, never come up here. Um, pretty much anybody that's ever personally done something to me or something very, very horrible, like horrific, like, you know, spreading tape rumors, anybody involved in that, nope. Um, but the, you know, that's how I feel. So nobody wants to come on. Nobody has anything to say. Are you guys like afraid of me? Are you afraid I'm going to yell at you if I bring you up here and you say something I don't agree with? You guys know I would never bite you. I've got 17 people in the chat and you're all being quiet. <laughs> okay, here's Angel. Angel, is that really you? All right, I'll bring up Angel. Hello, Jesse. We're off. Hello, Angel. What's going How on? How are you? Hold on. Let me let me connect my uh, earphones. Hold on. Okay. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, Hi. Listen, is, I was. Being, uh, let me just say one. Oh wait. Let me shut my thing off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on, let me shut this off. Okay, that's better, right? Hello, can you uh, hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, yes. Okay. So let me explain one thing to everybody who has an opinion. I was being accused of paying pizza to go after everybody. That's why I brought pizza on. Mm -hmm. And uh, if people don't like that tough shit, that's the second time of being accused of paying pizza money to attack people, hurt people, kill people. And I brought him on to clear that up, that I didn't pay anybody. And what my friends do with their money is their business. I don't tell people what they can and cannot do. And, uh, Jeff Kenasi, it's funny. I can't see any of your comments, which means you blocked me. And if you plan on going after me tonight, party's on. Okay? I actually think, um, I don't think he's in the chat anymore. He bailed out a while ago, I think. Okay. <clears throat> so. well, whatever. But uh, I, and I did not let him talk bad about you or Miss Can't Be Wrong or FBS's wife or whoever else, Tina, whoever else he was talking about. I did not like that. I, did, I told him, and that's it. Why? You need an excuse to go after me, FBS. You really need an excuse to go after me, and you're going to use that one? But whatever. Jesse, well, I, 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 honestly, I, don't... I did not see that show that you had him on. That's why when it was brought up, I didn't say anything about it because I have no opinion about something I right. didn't say. No, I know. I, I can't, you know, and, you know, I know sometimes you feel like I don't defend you or the that and the other. No, 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 you don't have to, Jesse. I understand who your friends are. You don't have to defend me. But if they're sitting there and they're going after my kids, I would defend you if they were doing that to your kids. Okay, well, here's the thing. There has been, and I don't know if you remember way back when, when you and FBS were in the thick of it, there yeah. I was in the chat going, yo, that's not cool. Don't talk about the kid. You know, I there were times, and he'll even tell you that. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't watch yeah. him. I didn't watch right. him. I get it, and I get it. And I, I mean, I have, there's lines that we draw. I mean, there's, listen, there's certain people I don't like, but 
if something's do, if someone's doing something wrong to them, I'm not going to condone it either. You know, I no, right, right. I don't I pretty much you know, lately I've been I'm pretty honest about who I am. Listen, I don't like doxing. I don't like families. My or talking about families. My friends all know that. But then I'll have some troll in my comment page go, oh, well, you, you're you in the chat room where I have... Well, I'm not them, you know? Well, do you see me going along with it? No, if I'm not going along with it, then whatever. I can't tell people who how to feel. I can't tell you how to feel. I can't tell FBS how to feel, you know? Right. You two feel the way you feel about each other. I feel about you, and I feel about him the way I feel about you guys. Mm -hmm. I, but I can't tell people who to feel, what to feel about each other. Um, and a lot of times, I do just keep my mouth shut because sometimes not everything needs to be said either. You know? I mean, sometimes... Us, I know. Us in the peanut gallery, sometimes we just need to, no matter what we feel, need to keep our mouth shut because it's... You know, we can have our opinion about it, but sometimes our opinions make things worse. Uh, uh, believe me, I know. Believe me, I know. I mean, uh, I bring somebody up on, on the panel because I'm being accused of something that I didn't do. I had nothing to do with. And, uh, and right away, my daughter is on people's thumbnails. Well, yeah, that I don't, I don't agree with. And my friends know. And I've told my friends... I don't like that. I, you know, you do what you do, but I'm not going to be a part of that. You know, exactly. Um, I one. did defend you. This can't be wrong. I did defend uh, Tina. I did defend um, Shanna. I did defend you. I even defended this whack job who, who I don't even know who he is, who supposedly was going after me because I, uh, let pizza say that he was oh, drunk and driving. I said, he, that's not right. You don't do that. You don't say that. But yet he's going to go after me. Not the other people there. Not pizza. Just me. I don't even know who this guy is. What's his name? Uh, Joey. Oh, I, I have know. no idea. I never. I don't know who that is either. Before. Me neither. I don't. I don't know who that is either. I mean. Usually we all can pretty much identify people. <laughs> yeah, I have no um, idea. Uh, listen, people say what they say. You could say, and I even said it while he was there. I don't have the same views as you. I don't have the same views that you do. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't. Mm -hmm. And I said it while he was on, and I said it after he what, he got off. So I don't agree with everything he says. Absolutely not. I don't agree. Listen, I watch people. I like them, but I don't agree with what they're doing or they're saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So does that mean what? I have to stay away from them because they're, everybody's done it to me. Everybody goes in when my kids are being attacked. They don't stop it. Well, right? and, and that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. You know, everybody, they're already all okay with coming and us going well you were in that chat room and, well listen just because we're in their chat that chat room doesn't mean we go along with it all and i'm you know i'm sure you feel the same way you know i apologize um, to you for that what was that uh, chicago muscle you you know I, I have to defend the men too you can fight each other i was defending the women Okay, you men kill each other. You, it's going on for how long now? And then you know what happens? You fight, and then two months later, you're all buddy, buddy, bros. So you men can can take care of each other. I was defending the women. Look, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead, Chicago. Oh, no, that's okay. Yes, um, yeah, that is one thing I will say about Angel. You know, it's um, she will stick up for people. Uh, women, especially, um, it, this is kind of a male dominated genre. So, you know, to a certain degree, us women, some of us, whether we like each other or not, kind of have to stick up for each other on certain things, no matter what. Um, yeah. it, it just, there are certain things that, you know, are not good. No, exactly. Uh, and Chicago Muscle, you've been in the chat where my daughter's uh, picture is a thumbnail for your friend. What does that mean? I should, uh, what, go after your kids? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't even go after his son. 
but you all are in the chat while he's got my daughter's picture up there. So sorry, sorry. Am I wrong, Jesse? Um, no, you're not wrong. Um, but I will say this about Chicago. Um, you're not wrong about him, but I will say this. I do feel um, the difference between Chicago and SoFlo, and I'm not putting anyone down in the situation, but there is a difference between Chicago and Muscle. I think Chicago is a little more hurt because I think he he did feel a certain loyalty to you from back when, and I think he feels hurt about things that went down and things that happened, and I'm, I don't mean like mad. I just mean he's hurt when it comes to you. And I do kind of, when I hear him talking, when I hear Muscle talking about you, I do kind of hear him holding back because I don't think he wants to hurt anyone. Um, I don't, I haven't heard him personally talk about your children. No, I said that last night too. <clears throat> I said the only one who hasn't is Chicago Muscle. Right, right. I said um, that. But, I mean, that's, you know, and that, again, that's something that you guys would have to work out with. See, guys, in the chat, this is what I'm trying to explain. There are certain times, like, I'm not going to get in between these two on that because this is their issue. Um, I don't. You do hold back, trust me? Who, who, who the fuck do these people think they are? Seriously. I don't go after your kids, yet you bullies are constantly going after my kids. Not you, not yet. Not yet. Try harder to hold back Chicago muscle. I'm sorry, Jesse. I just can't. I really can't. You guys are bullies. You go after kids that have nothing to do with anything. What's the excuse this time? The last time it was, oh, my daughter was in the chat defending her mother. What's it? The, what's the excuse this time? I'm sorry, Jesse. That's okay. That's okay. I never went after anybody's kids, but yet it's done to me constantly. I'm just, I'm looking at the different um, comments here. I hold back to Chicago muscle. How's that? You like that answer? You like, would you like me to say that to you? I hold back real hard. I'm a hypocrite. Unbelievable. I didn't put your kids up. None of my friends put your kids up. Well, I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm sorry. I just, I only slept one hour and, and I'm really cranky and I'm really tired. Oh, apparently. <laughs> I saw you had a 10 hour show there. Yeah, I, I didn't plan on that either. I um, had, I, that was not my doing, not my planning, but it happened. I'm not happy that it happened. Um, I have somebody in the back. Um, it's up to you. You're on here first. So, you know, I don't want you to feel sandbagged. I have Canarsi in the back. Okay. Okay. Do you want to bring him up? Oh, yeah, do you want okay. me? Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Hey, Jeff. Hello, Jesse. How are you? Good. What's going on? Are you okay? You don't sound so great. Oh, no. I just, uh, <clears throat> I got a lot of stuff going on in my world. That's all. No, I only, I only wanted to come on here to make a, sort of a point uh, i'm not talking about any of the drama but no my my show this evening is not about anybody that's currently uh on the show now that's okay it. okay why am i blocked uh because i'm staying away from everybody that's involved in drama everybody oh so you admit you blocked me yeah right. no problem that's not a problem jeff never was never will be not a problem so i just okay. wanted to uh make it clear i'm not uh you guys can go on my YouTube and look at what I'm doing, but it's not, uh, it's not, it's not anybody here. Okay. All okay. Right. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that didn't go badly. Um, uh, I didn't dox you. How many times you're going to flip flop back and forth? Say I didn't, then I did, then I didn't. Now I did again, but all right. And first of all, I, I had the, I had the wrong I didn't have the right house. That's what's so amazing to me. Everybody was, he, he's saying I doxed him, I doxed him. That wasn't even the house I thought you lived in. How's that? 
and and you know what, Chicago Muscle, if you want, go back to our very first uh, messages in the very beginning. You sent me your grandson's picture. You sent me your picture. You told me this is me. This is what I look like. Okay. I could have doxxed you then. I never did. I never told anybody. In fact, another content creator that was in this chat asked me, do you have any information on uh, Chicago Muscle? I said, no. I swear my kids want you to ask him. I have the text message to prove it. I said, no. So if I wanted to dox you, I would have done it way back then. I didn't dox you. Now, I do have one. I, yeah, I threatened question. it, but did I do it? No. I do have one question, yes. uh, Angel. And don't be mad at me. I do, I'm just curious. No, go ahead. Why would you give his information to MRE? I did not give his information. What I did was I shared a video. I said, who does this sound like to you? That's all I did. How am I supposed to know if there's links in there? And other people uh, were sent that email. Other people were too. I had no idea there's links in there. I didn't even watch the whole thing. I just said, who does this sound like to you? Okay, so you were sent the same thing everybody else Yeah, did. everybody okay. else was. Okay, I had the understanding that somehow you had the information and you sent it to no, him. No, I, I, had, you know, I, I did have his phone number. I never gave that to a soul. Not okay. a soul. Not I do know person. everybody got those emails at the same yeah. time. MRE just happened to be the first one to bring it up on a show. Um, well, other people got the email at the same time. He was the first one to uh, bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. So that's okay. So that's I guess. Yeah, that, that I knew. I, I just was in on the understanding that you had given him information prior to that. I don't know. No, um, absolutely not. I never okay. did. I never did. I, in fact, I don't even remember where the hell his phone number is. How's that? But I know I know if I wanted to, I could have done that. I never did that. I shared a video. That's all I shared. I said, who does this, who does this sound like to you? I'm supposed to know that there's links in there? How am I supposed to know that? Especially when I had your phone number and I had your info. I had your picture. I had your grandson. I had all those things. I never gave them to anyone. They've never been out. And then later on, I started laughing. After it was all over and done with, I said, you idiots. He was using his picture the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> in the very beginning, when you go back... When you go back to my uh, first stream when Chicago Muscle came on, he was using that picture. <laughs> he was. Yeah, he was using that he picture. Was, and he was using his picture the whole time. And I said, you dummies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I even th I think at one point, and I didn't specifically know of that, think of that one, but I thought at one point, I'm like, one of these days it's going to come out and one of these pictures is really going to be him. I just didn't know which one it was going to be. Yeah, it was him the whole time. And, and he sent that to me like, oh, my God. Oh, When he first came on here, he sent that to me. I never told anyone. I never sent it to anybody. I had his grandson. He sent me pictures of his wife holding these snakes and lizards. I never shared that with anybody. And I could have, but I wouldn't. Well, and that what Muscle says right here, he was never scared. He just wanted to protect his family. And that's okay, understandable exactly. because all we've right. all seen. How about all, all our families? Yeah. How about all our kids? We, How about you know, our kids? With every, I don't blame anybody for wanting to protect their family on here. There's some weirdos on here, let me tell you. Um, the evil people on here. Very, very evil people. Um, I just, you know, and I... I just think that people need to step back because you, again, you, you get exactly. you get accused of stuff because of who you're friends with. I get accused of stuff because of who I'm friends with. And meanwhile, I don't do shit to anybody. I come on here, I joke, I laugh, you know, I do my own little show and I, that's it. You know, I you know, I'm not mm -hmm. on here looking up people's families and you know does and she, but half the time I'm on here defending myself now. It's like to people. Wait, I hold, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on one minute. Yes, she looks okay. beautiful. 
I, oh, oh. <laughs> so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. Aw. She's fine. She's not even crying. I have a long. nervous condition where I laugh when people get hurt. I don't know what's wrong with She's them. not hurt. I'm sorry, Jesse. She's that's taking okay. my granddaughter out. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> but go ahead. Um, yeah, I understand what you're saying. The men should just fight the men. That's it. Fight the men. Well, and this is what I... I'm going to pull up this comment here. Um... <sighs> Okay, Chicago Muscle, I said that last night. I said, one thing I got to say is Chicago Muscle uh, has never gone at my kids. I said he's the only one who hasn't gone at my kids. But that's what I mean by he's hurt because you gave, you apparently gave that information to MRE. Uh, that he was, thought um, you were friends and... And listen, MRE, I don't think he knew what was the links were either. He just put it up. As soon as I gave it to him, he put it up. I don't think he looked at it and saw the links either. That's why I was trying to tell Chicago Muscle a few months ago. But whatever. Everybody else grabbed it and or everybody else got it at the same time. And they were sending it all around to everyone. And if somebody would have checked their emails earlier, they would have probably been the first ones to put it up. Well, and I, and I understand that and I get that, but I do remember um, because when it came out, the MRE, uh, MRE did that first show that day, um, I did go back and listen to it. And I have to tell you, Angel, he was kind of pushing people to look at the links like he knew what they were. Oh, I have no idea. I don't even remember it. I, I mean, you know, I don't. I don't remember it. He I never, never even watched the whole thing. I never even watched the whole thing. Yeah, he came, he never came out and said Chicago's name or family or anything, but he kept pushing the links, and those links had his name in it. And he kept telling people, go look at these links. You know, Are you like, sure? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't have time to go back and look for it. If yeah. Has a, I don't, everybody I don't pulls know. their shows down. It's like. What? Everybody, like, everybody pulls their shows down and puts them on private. And I'm like, you know, y'all are a bunch of pussies. I leave mine up. I don't care. <laughs> like, well, you know, pe people say things and do things and then they, then they feel, I don't even know if they feel bad about it. They just don't want to face the consequences. So they yank their shows down. So, and I'm not one of those people. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and look through two years worth of videos to find a clip either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, believe me, I've been going through some of my old, old ones. Uh -huh. Oh, watch her. She's, she's rocking because she, uh, because I'm looking for some things, but, uh, it's funny how everybody got along and then all of a sudden it just went haywire. Okay. Everything just went haywire and everybody started killing each other. And now everybody, it's so weird because their friends, all the sides that were together are now not together and now they're back together again. It's just weird. The whole thing is weird. Hold on one minute. I don't like the way you're over here. Hold on. Hello, my little girl. I don't like the way you write the edge. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesse. That's all right. That's all right. I'm just looking at comments here. Um I um yeah, like Mandy says, there's a lot of trouble around MRE. I personally don't care for him. I'm not even going to lie. I didn't care for him before he was even doxxed because I did actually, I started listening to him because of your show. And I went back and I started, you know, I would listen to his live and then he would be funny and charming. So I went back and I love history too. So I went back and I started listening to all of his different lives and just some of the language he uses just really turned me off and just really gave me an ill feeling and this is prior to him being doxxed mre so i mean i really have to say but um, you leaving all right i love you be careful 
Be careful. I'm sorry, Jesse. That's okay. Uh, no, I understand what you're saying. You don't like him. You're friends with people that I don't like. Right, right. And um, but as far as he goes, there is, you know, there's a lot of personally. If he is a snitch or not, I don't care. Like that doesn't bother me about people. Do I think he's one? Possibly. I don't know. Um, this whole child thing, I just personally stay away from because there's accusations, but there's no, um, there's no conviction. There's no charges even. So I just, whatever. Exactly. I, you can't have, preach. You can't preach to some people. Well, this person was never charged with that. Uh, you know, and, and, but then you have to, uh, Say, oh, I, well, this person wasn't charged with it, but he's guilty of it. Well, listen, I, I have my opinion, but my opinion doesn't mean anything in the court of law. So <laughs> Exactly. And that's what um, I keep saying. This, I, you know, this is all circumstantial shit. You can't get convicted of that. Well, and here's the thing. And I know a lot of my friends are like, oh, you know, well, we'll say he's this or that. And. No, I won't say it, and I'll tell you why I won't say it. For the same reason why I would never call SoFlo the R word. There's no conviction. That's what I'm talking drugs. about. Exactly um, what I'm talking about. I would never, right. you know, um, pretty much I'm going to stalemate with that. I just, I have my opinions about people, and I leave it at that. It's my opinion. Uh, this whole thing with Casparosa, um, again, I don't care for MRE. Um, but Casparos is going too far with this stuff, dragging you and Angela into it and everything else. And I, something in me, I don't know what it was when he said Angela's name, it just pissed me off to no end. Uh, and me too. And, and me I too. Just, there was no reason for And I forgot what he even said that she, that she lied about him. So you feel that she lied about how many text messages you, you sent her about MRE, that's the reason why you doxed her? Well, and there's all sort like, there's all sorts of weird answers I get when I talk to him. It's like, you know, I I said to him, I said, um, I'm trying to remember exactly here, because I guess you said you were going to sue him. So then he's going mm -hmm. off about, he's going to counter sue you for slander. Oh, it's so ridiculous. I and told I him said, that last night. How could you sue somebody? He wants to sue. He wants to uh, uh, go to the bar about Elio, but Elio never said your name. You can't sue people when you don't say, when they don't say your name. Well, he's not told saying me, your name. I <laughs> He was going off the one night about, um, I guess you you made a comment. I don't know if it was a joke or something. I don't even honestly. He's lied to me now, so I don't even know if you actually even said this or not. But he made a statement that you said if MRE were twenty years younger, you would date him. I said that on a live, like in the very beginning. I said uh, MRE is so adorable. Right. If he if I was twenty years younger, I would go out with him. Right. Okay. I was so, I was fooling around. You know I'm married. Right. Like, why would you even say take that something like that serious? I said it well, on the live. This is against me. He was trying to use that That's as ridiculous. you slandering him. Wait, what? He was trying to use that statement that you would go out with MRE um, as you slandering him. And I said, I, Chris, how, how does that even make sense? He's, she's not even talking about you. She's talking about MRE. And then he tries to give me this bullshit reason that, well, you know, she's defending him against me and blah, blah. Well, that, that one statement is not slander. Okay. Like you cannot take a statement like that, that she said she would date MRE if she were 20 years younger. It doesn't even involve you. Oh she never God. said your name. It's not like, that's what I mean. Like he's weird. Like, I get weird answers from him. Yeah, and this was like a year and a half, two years ago I said that. I'm right. pretty sure. I'm, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure. But, but I was fooling around. How could yeah. you hold that? You know that I'm married. How could you say that I was serious about that? Oh, I don't know if she was serious or not. I think she was serious. Are you kidding me? Right, I said I think, it on a live in front of everybody. Well, and that's another thing that gets me. You know, a lot of us come on here and we joke around, and then people will hang on that one statement. Exactly. 
for years and it could have been a joke or it could have been like or maybe i came back a week later and said oh i'm sorry i didn't mean that that was wrong information but they're going to hang on that one thing they're not going to follow up and figure out was it a joke or you know like people just hang on the stupidest things around here yeah and they, and they insisting like i couldn't believe what he said to me last night i said you know he, I don't know where you got that he's 5'2 or 5'4 because he's not. He's taller than me. He's either my height or a little bit taller, and I'm seven and a half. And he's like, will you sign an affidavit? I go, what? I have to sign an affidavit about how tall he is. Like, Listen, and that's what, what I mean. What the like, hell is that? Listen, I don't care for MRE either, but I don't think requiring the people around him to sign an affidavit about his height <laughs> about his has height. any relevance. <laughs> I started laughing. Like, sign an affidavit about his height? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I think that's it's crazy. so funny. <laughs> oh, Leroy, I'm so scared of you. Please, why don't you grow up? You know what? Everybody knows that that's your account and that's you. So keep it up. Keep it up. That's all I'm going to say. Keep it up. But go ahead. I'm sorry, Jesse. That's all right. So, Flo, yes, she is my guest today. If you want to be a guest on a different show, I'll bring you on. Um, listen, I'm not here to fight with people. Um, exactly. You're more than welcome, you know, is what a threat. Nobody threatened anybody. Nobody threatened anybody. Grow up. You're the one in here threatening. Oh, you're going to go after my kids tomorrow. You're going to go after my daughter yesterday. Today, for the next three weeks, you'll go after my daughter. You're the one who's threatening. I heard your little shit today about Leroy Brown, whatever his name is. And don't think that I'm not tying you all four in together. That's it. It's a little uh, coup here. Wowza. I'm feeling like under the gun right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, Jesse. I shouldn't. I'm cranky. I only slept one hour. I'm no, really that's tired. okay. Listen, I mean, you know, I... I, I, I want to clear that up that I... Uh, why I brought him on. I'm being, I being. I was lied lied you lied uh el said you lied that i uh my people were paying um pizza to go after your wives yeah put her on deck tomorrow i don't give a shit maybe i'll put your son on deck how would you like that would you like that if i put your son on deck tomorrow You have people go after us? Are you out of your mind? What pe what people do I have go after you? This is see, so childish. This is so insane, truthfully. This see, is insane. this is what I mean right now. I have right now I'm speaking with you. You're on my show. And I'm getting questions on my uh Oh, no. Oh, well, apparently they put the questions in and then deleted them because they're not showing up. Um, uh, my community page, I get people. Here we go. So, did you donate it like you said you would? Said who donate? Uh, I made a remark about um, what I would spend my money on. I would donate on a homeless shelter or this, that, and the other. Yeah. And I wouldn't donate it on look at people up I don't care about, um, which has no relevance to anybody in this chat room at the moment. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, all right. But I don't because, even know. Like, because we're on here talking about, you know, donations and people saying what, it's like I'm being held to what other people do. So um, am I. Yeah. So am I. I'm being held to some one of my friends, two of my friends gave somebody money. And right away, uh, he has breaking news that I uh, he has breaking news. It came to him that I uh, my friends are paying pizza to attack them. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Uh, tying who together? Uh, who, well, you said that. Uh, oh, there we pizza go. Is my proxy? 
pieces my proxy? Apparently well, that proxies. Apparently that eight dollars I gave pizza back in November bought him wheels for his wagon. Well, that's very nice. Yeah, see? <laughs> that's very nice of you. I, you know what? It was, and I've explained this, and I will say it one more time. It was right after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's a very bad holiday for me. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the holidays are just bad for me with loss and whatnot. And I happened to tune in, and pizza looked genuinely, re you know, remorseful mm -hmm. and looked really neat. And I, I gave him some money, and I said, here, go buy yourself a cup of coffee. And then he made a joke. He said, it put a smile on his face. And he made a joke. Oh, Miss can't be wrong. I'll be mad at you. So mm -hmm. I joked back and I said, half of it's from her. This is a joke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing you know, me and Miss can't be wrong are all over the place, donating money to horrible, evil pizza. It's like, really? Like I gave the guy eight bucks and I did feel bad. I gave it to him because like a couple days later, he's talking shit about both of us. I'm like, whatever. But you know what? I, in that moment, I felt like giving him eight bucks, so I gave him eight bucks. He, see, he up. has a dog. Does anybody care that he has this dog that if he's on the sidewalk, this poor dog is on the sidewalk? Does anybody care about that? Like, or is it, you know, they just hate him so much? Listen, he said the worst things about me. He said the worst things about my daughter. He said the worst things, well, not as bad as these guys have, but he said some pretty bad things. But he apologized just like Silflo apologized. And I said, okay, no problem. He apologized. Did I give him money? No, my friends did. What does that have to do with me? All right. All right. I mean, can you tell Miss Can't Be Wrong what she can and cannot do with her money? No, ne neither one of us tell, tell each other. Did she Ooh. tell you what you could do? No. Exactly. No, we don't. Um, and that is the thing. Like I was, and that's where I do differ from my friends. Like, listen, you know, I don't like, I don't like some of the same people my friends don't like. Um, but same I handle, with me. Same but with I, me. <laughs> but I handle it differently than my friends do. Oh, so um, the same with me. They understand that how I handle it might not be the way they handle it, and they know there's certain things I don't approve of. And I'm sure there's things I do that they don't approve of, but we just leave each other be because we're grown adults. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just, I don't, I don't get some of it. That's all. No. I never, ever, ever go after anybody's kids ever. Why do you have to go after mine? Tony, just give a fuck about that dog. Why? I can't care about a dog. What happens to a dog? I haven't given him any money, by the way. <laughs> I'm just saying that there's a dog involved. Many angels. I haven't given anybody my money. Uh, what you do with your proxies? You see what I mean? It's like talking to a wall to, when you talk to this one here. This is talking to a wall. I haven't given anybody any money, and I don't have any proxies. But how about I think you have proxies? How's that? I think you have proxies, and you're all a gang of bullies because my kids haven't done a damn thing to any of you. Not a fucking thing has my kids done to any of you, and yet you go after my kid. Right. But he might not care about his dog, but I do. And you know that. You know that I'm an animal lover. I love do I love animals more than people. I'm just saying, doesn't anybody care that his dog will end up on a sidewalk? I mean, really? All right. So, Sofla wants to know who his proxies are. Um... Who's my proxy, SoFlo? Who is my proxies? Maureen is my proxy. No, Maureen is my friend. Maureen is my friend. Maureen is Kasparosa's friend, too. For, uh, eight years now? Nine years? 
Maureen's our friend. I don't control Maureen either. She doesn't control me. She's my friend. You give Chicago Muscle a platform, don't you? Don't you people attack other people's kids? I don't do that. Maureen doesn't do that. That I know of anyway. You attacked her children. You attacked her dead son. There's nothing lower than that. You go after dead kids. Then her daughter had a problem and you're blaming her for her daughter? Her daughter was um, beaten up. And you're making fun of Maureen? Um, Am I wrong, Jesse? Tell me if I'm wrong. Well, Sofla wants me to drop the link. Here's I'm the not thing. talking to him. Okay. I'm not so talking Flo, to him. After she's done, I'll let you come up and say that. Yeah, and I, I'm not talking so Flo, to him. I would yeah, give you because he doesn't let anybody speak. talk. He just, uh, is MRE a racist? Is MRE a snitch? Is MRE this? I don't give a fuck what MRE is. I don't care. Well, so Flo, I would give you the same courtesy as well. Um, you know, when, when Angel's done, I'll, I'll gladly drop the link for you. But I don't want anybody on my show. I don't care who it is. I don't want anybody feeling uncomfortable. So I'm not going to bring people up. I'm, not just... of, well, I'm sorry. A fat bald Sicilian, I'm not saying that they were donating to him if that it was about the dog. I, I'm talking about two different things. I said, doesn't anybody care about his dog? I didn't say they donated to him for the dog. They felt sorry for him. They felt really bad for him. Uh, well, that was Angela. Maureen had a different reason. As for Maureen, um, I'm probably not the best person to ask yeah, about I know. her. So, well, I really care about Maureen. I know I'll Maureen a very it, long time. Um, and I understand that. So I'm just going to leave it and I'm not going to discuss her with you because yeah. I, you know, again, that's not something I, I behave online the way I behave in real life. You know what? I have friends that don't get along with each other in real life. You right. work around it. You just work around it. You know, my dad used to tell me, Jess, there's going to be people in your life that you have to deal with that you're not going to like, but you're not going to have any choice. Like you go to work. There's people you don't like at work, but you have to be civil to them. Those people, you know, it doesn't make you two-faced. It just means yeah. you can't just walk around this world being an asshole, and I mean that to everybody. I'm not putting anyone out. Um, Listen, I keep saying over and over and over again, I don't want to fight with people. I especially, I don't want to fight with people that I was friends with. I don't want to. For the past eight, nine months, I've been saying the same thing every single show that we do. I say, I don't want to fight with anybody. Like, like leave me alone. I don't want to fight with any of you. Who I like and who who I don't like. Why should does it concern any of you? Why do any of you care? You go after my son, so Flo, and you watch what I do. Watch what I do. You fuck with my son, and you watch what I do. Watch it. I'll put your son on every fucking platform I have, and you better go check how many platforms I have and how many people are in my on my platforms. This is what I mean about you sick fucks. You sick fucks. You want to go after my son? My son's a gem. A fucking gem. You can't afford the house my son has. The two kids, the wife. You wish you had my son's life. Go after my son and watch what I do. That's a threat. That's a threat. Go near my son and watch what I do. Jesse, you are a sweetheart. I'm getting out of here because this chat... You have a degenerate in here, and I'm at it. And by the way, so Flo, Casparosa said you were a rapist. Bye. Um. Okay, Angel. Um. I will chat with you later. I guess. Um. What I am gonna do is so Flo. I'm gonna drop the link. Um. Please listen. Please try and be respectful. I know. I know you're very passionate, so Flo. I know how you get. Um, but I'm going to drop the link and I'll let you, I'll let you say what you got to say, but I want you to be at least respectful about it, please.
All right, guys, we have SoFlu on. Do you want to come out to FBS? Angel. <laughs> hey, can I can I sing a song to Angel? It's not it's not you know pornographic. It's nice. It's sweet. It can better I do not that be rude. Listen, listen. No, it's not going to be rude. It's not, look, check it out. It's, you probably heard the song. It's for when in Rome. When in Rome. I'm going to Rome soon. I'm thinking about going to Rome. But check this out. If you leave, don't leave now. Please don't listen. take my all away. Promise me. Just one more roast, <laughs> and then we'll go our separate ways. <laughs> hey, Jesse. But you know, here's the thing, man. Oh, and by the way, thank you so much for allowing me on your on your beautiful and wonderful panel with your beautiful and wonderful supporters. Now, as we all know, Angel Gotti is an individual who likes to support uh, a gentleman by the name of Nicholas Colacone. My my exposed.com. That's his website, by the way. It's mine, but it has his name on it. I will be opening up some more websites, too, possibly with certain names of the people that belong to the Gotti family. I have every right to do that. It is within the First Amendment. I am now a news agency here in the mob genre. Now, Angel likes to platform scumbags. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name one. Nicholas Colacone, an individual who even lied to her about ever being accused of being a pedophile. And my, by all indications, he is. Mr. Casparosa is a liar. I will be providing that evidence through the roof. He has even called me his friend when he never was my friend. Because a friend will not do what he did to me. So I will be, I'll be putting up some text messages be, uh, that Casparosa sent me and stuff like that. Because, you know, I really don't like that guy too much. Because he's there going after MRE. But at the same time, he's buddy buddies with a person who supports MRE through the roof and somebody very close to uh that party over there has told me that casparosa is a soldier without a country and i have to agree he is loyal to nobody that's the type of guy that he is she has also platformed tony pizza just the other day that was talking about about my fan but somebody that i love and fbs's loves angela the right winger is a very nice lady who has a beautiful family and a beautiful husband. You see what I'm saying? His name is Willie. I'm not can doxing you, the guy. Can, can you please not talk about their families? Listen, if you have Oh, no, 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 but I, no, no, of course I don't know. No, I'm so, oh, I'm sorry, I Jesse. I just, said, no, I no, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jesse. I really, it, it, I, get, I got carried away. But if I do get carried away, please, you know, d direct me back on course because that happens because I'm a very passionate Cuban here from South Florida. And I do love everybody and everything, including you and uh, Angel. I wish the best for Angel. I wish she, would, she makes plenty of money here in this community you see what i'm saying I, I wish she's able to get all the money from edwin jimenez that she can but what i'm saying is that why would she want a platform evil involved vicious people that like to attack people's families like you know maureen mo she said that maureen mo has never spoken about people's families but she did she did it to chicago muscle and that's not nice to come on here and start doing background checks on people and you know talking about chicago muscle's dad that is wrong and the day that we get confirmation, we're gonna talk about their family through or her family through the roof, baby. I love you, Jesse. I love you, baby. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, anybody else want to come up? I'll drop the link. Um. Yeah. That's a. That's one thing I ask is please do not talk about people's families. Um, that's, you know, that I don't want on my show. Um, Muscle, do you want to come up? FBS? No? Well, I don't think I've ever had an, uh, had a show that exciting before. I I'm stunned. Um, <laughs> I can't. I'm still Walmart. Trust me, I would love to. Okay. All right. Well, we've we've got SoFlo back here. Yo, what's Welcome up, man? Yo, oh, what's up? No, it is that soft. Let's leave it, baby. I ain't not gonna say no bad word. I ain't talking about no but family and anything like that. I just wanna say hi to everybody out there. What's up, baby? What's up, everybody out there? Yo, 
Jesse. What? What's up, Leroy? How, how you doing, little girl? It says Tony Action Take on my name, right? Yeah, it does. I, I, I ain't got nothing to add. <laughs> What's going on? What's hey, going on, need, Leroy? Yeah, girl, we need to we need to, we need to pump up this channel up, baby. You know, man. But what's up with that? We gotta get this. We gotta get this channel party started here. We gotta get some people over here, baby. We got this thing going on here with Jesse, man. Yes, you're doing a great job here, man. You got Angel Gotti over here. You got Lee Wood Burn. You got FBS. You got Chicago Moses. You got Tony Soblo, baby. You got it going on, girl. What's up? I don't know. I kind of like my little boutique channel. No, man. We got to get this channel popping, girl. You got to stop making that bank, baby. Yeah, baby. That's what's up, baby. I love you, baby. You know, you know I support Jesse, baby. Ride through the boot, baby. Um, no, you, Jesse Rock will never be on deck. But Angel? Damn, girl. You're on deck already. I love y'all, baby. Man, can't... See, I can't even ask these people questions and they jump off. Leroy, if you're if you're still in the chat, hang on. Uh... Yeah, I see that. I see who's back there. I see who's back there, and guess what? He's not coming up on my. Um, he's not coming up on my panel. Did I not tell you, Tony Pizza will never be welcome on my show? Oh, it was you. Oh, okay. Well. That's well. You're supposed to text me before. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Tony Pizza will come back. I don't know. But um, I don't know. I, um, I'm stunned. I, I have not. I tried to doing the old busted playground switcheroo. Yeah, well, I'm very cautious about who I bring up on my show. So it, it, you know, I, I don't know. I try to be different. I try to be better. How about that? I try to be different. I try to be better. Um, I try to be the best person I can be. And that's all I can try to do. Do you want to come up here, Argo, and talk? Do you got something to say? I actually wanted to ask Soflo something, but he popped off he jumped off and then Leroy I was gonna ask Leroy and he jumped off yeah I, I heard about him I heard about him Chicago Now, Argo, let me ask you a question. What did I say to you when you went that very first time you went at Maureen's son? What did I say to you? I said that was fuck up and you should apologize. Did I not? And I'm not saying this for you to be in trouble. Exactly. It was wrong. It was uncalled for. You're being polite. I flat out told you it was fuck up. <laughs> You're trying to make me look nicer than I am, Margo. <laughs> It was uncalled for. It was wrong. Right. And that was way before Maureen ever pulled her shit on me. But Maureen never knew about that. Because that was a conversation that was had in private. Um, but see, the sneaky shit that Maureen does in private is she tries to dig up dirt on me and pass it around. 
That's why I have a problem with Maureen. Just so people know. All right, that was the initial problem I had with her. Um, she had her problems with Chicago Muscle, which is fine. She doesn't have to like Chicago Muscle. She doesn't have to like that Chicago Muscle played a character on his first go around on Mob Tube. A lot of us didn't like it, but you know what? He came back. He apologized. Um, and you can either forgive him or not. But if you don't forgive him, don't forgive him, but leave him alone. Don't keep poking at him and digging up more stuff and poking at him. I said my apologies and she said, shove it up my ass. So I then in return said, fuck her. Well, it's up to her if she wants to accept your apology. I'll be honest with you, Argo. If somebody said that about my kid, I think I would tell them to fuck off too. But um, with that said, at least you apologize. All right, Chicago, I'll check you out later on your show, okay? Forgive me or come kick my ass. <laughs> there you go. She keeps sending union reps put to my out to my job, and they keep coming and checking book and taking their asses back to their office. I took a picture of the last one who came at. She's got, Argo, is she going real life on you? Like, why is she, why is she sending people out to your job? Oh, Tony Action's backstage. Okay. All right. Well, I'll catch you later, Chicago. Tony Tony wants to pop up. But Argo, why don't you come up too? Because I want to talk to you. Yeah, I like Argo. Argo's a good guy. I like Argo, man. He's not gay or anything. Like, if he was, I really wouldn't care. We're very inclusive. But uh, what is it you want to ask me, Your Highness? I just, uh, I want to, honestly, now I, I've kind of gotten off track from that. Um, Stay on track. Stay on target, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so much going on. I've never had a show this exciting before. <laughs> it's going to get better, Jesse. You'll see. I'll give you my word. It's going to get better. Don't worry about um, it. You'll see. Let me ask you a question, okay? If you sure. woke up tomorrow, right, and all was said and done, and you know, I won the lottery, you'll be, Angel, I'll hook you up. <laughs> no, Angel never spoke a word on you again. Would you never speak a word on you? Like, I'm just curious, I know it's not gonna happen. No, no, yeah. I no, I gonna... no, it's a good question. It's a good question. I, I appreciate that question, but see, here's the situation that we got here. Uh, she likes to you. She's, in my opinion, she's a hardcore hypocrite. Hypocrite. Uh, she likes to support. Remember, at one time, she was supporting a hardcore MRE, Chicago Muscle, when he was going after us, me and FBS, and a couple of people here. And she uses proxies for that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Because you know she uses her name, and she goes uh, to these people's shows. She talks nice to them and stuff like that. Gives them a platform, just like he, just like she gave the stand-up guy a platform on her show. Propping, propping him up, saying he's a real nice guy, a guy, and very hypocritical because if you're anti-snitch and anti rap why would you have somebody like the stand-up candy lover on your show? I mean, Hang on I, one second. Yeah. Hang on one second. Whoever's sure. waving your dick in the background, shove oh. it up your ass. Oh my God, he's worse than me, man. I, I got I got accused one time for shooting into an occupied apartment where I was naked. I wasn't naked. I'll tell you that. That's what I told my dad. I wasn't. If I was, I would tell you I was naked doing that. Oh my, doing that. But anyway, uh. You know, that's the issue that I have here. You know, she's propping up. She uh, puts people and gives them a platform on her show. She's Angel Gotti. She's got a last name. You know, the Gotti is a lot of people out there who are in love with that name. I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm in love with Espinosa. I'm in love with Jesse Robb, FBS, Chicago Muscle, Argo, Beck Brooklyn, my girl. You know, people that are on the right track here. And, you know, in regards to these people that like to uh, attack people's families and or use people to do so or support people that do so. Now, the thing about it is you could support whoever you want jesse you know that's the type of guy that i am but if you're supporting an individual like nicholas colacon youtuber marvice exposed who actually even lied to this lady you know even you know brought it to her house and 
cook for him chicken pot pie for crying out loud introduce her to his beautiful and wonderful uh victoria Gotti. that a lot of information is coming in on that lady as we speak for me but what i'm saying is uh i'm not talking about about victoria i'm not talking about, about frankie or anything like that i'm just saying hey if you're going to platform people who like to attack people's families what's good for the goose is good for the gander jesse you understand what i'm saying and that's what she loves to do and then she likes to put, say oh my god no i'm i'm totally against that but i'm gonna have tony pizza on my show I'm gonna have MRE on my show and the stand-up guy. I so these guys are very nice guys. You know, and if you're doing that, you're giving your stamp of approval to scumbags, Jesse. And I'm against that. And I'll always right, be against that. I I I see your side of it, but I also see too that um um like Chicago um Oh, by the way, I'm going to go see Godzilla. I'm going to go see, I'm getting dressed as we speak. So I cannot show my face because then we're going to have people like, you know, the stand up channel over falling in love with my looks and stuff like that with my chest. I don't, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. I, mean, I don't know. Somebody, somebody was just in the background waving a two inch little thing. I don't know what it was. It, it, oh, two um, inches is probably code. It's probably code. Code. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Right, but you know what? You guys all give everybody a chance to jump up and speak their piece, okay? Absolutely. Thank you. See, I like why that is about it, you. Why is it different, though? Like, you know, listen, I will never have pizza on my show. That's just my personal Absolutely. Now that we're out. Why, 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 yeah. isn't, why isn't she allowed to pop, let people jump up and speak their piece, too? Maybe she wanted yeah, to. Yeah, but, 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 but here's the thing, though. They get up there, right, and they start talking bad about people's families. You're giving them a platform. Remember, she's Angel Gotti. You know, her show would be probably one of the biggest shows in the world if she did the right thing. You see what I'm saying? But what happens is that if I'm, I'm going to give an example. Let's say I'm, I'm Donald Trump. I had a show and I put up 20 pizza on here on my show. I'm giving it a platform. I'm not, I'm not putting them on my show to tell them, Hey dude, stop what you're doing. What are you doing? You're attacking people's families. You put you're attacking people, businesses and jobs. You know, if I, if I put Tony pizza to do that, on my show i'm doing the right thing i'm not giving him i'm not giving him a stamp of approval if i put up uh the stand-up tranny lover on my show right i'm donald trump i'm gonna say hey 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 truly tremendous truly tremendous listen to me what are you doing what are you doing when you get all triggered up attacking people's families nicholas colacone if i put nicholas colacone on my show i'm not gonna put him up there for for him to defend his position um his, his position is very easily to destroy during Christmas time, he even called Gunsmoke's grandfather lives. I remember. That's MRE. I remember. Listen, I will never yeah. stick up for MRE. I will yeah, never you know what? Ever, ever, and, ever, and ever, this ever. lady, I understand but, her position. Jesse, I understand her position. She's scared that MRE is going to put out text messages between MR. Uh, 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 she's scared that MRE is going to put out those text messages and pictures between him and Victoria and Victoria Gotti. I understand that. I understand that. But listen, you know, sometimes in life, you can't, you cannot uh, let uh, a scumbag just govern you in that regard because that's what the guy is. The guy was getting ready to do that. He even told, "Come on, you, you didn't you remember when uh, when uh, when MRE was telling Damien Argenti, hey, get my phone. Uh, mm -hmm. You got my two phones. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that?'" Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What, so then, and then we got Marine Mo. Oh, there's a lot of reason why anybody would do that. Are you serious, people? Come no, on. You know. Not Maureen Mo can eat a bag of dicks for all I care, but well, I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure she's done that, and I'm pretty sure she's done that on several occasions. You know, we, we eventually, yeah, yeah remember, uh, her identity will eventually be put out there. We have a few leads, and and once it happens, everything that she's done here in this community will be done to her. That's just the way it is. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, baby. But but in the meantime, since we're not have any, uh, how do you say, conclusive, uh, uh. Uh, pointers to exactly who the you know we got several ideas of who this person might be right now. You said we have several individuals that might, might possibly be her, but in the meantime, she's she since she's being propped up by Angel Gotti. You know, she says yeah, it's her friend, like like Casparosa. Here's Casparosa going after MRE, but at the same time, we got Maureen Mo. You know, supporting people like the stand-up tranny lover who attacks people's families, MRE. She's cool. She was right there with uh with with uh with pizza right next to the guy. You know, hey, you know, I mean you think I'm gonna put pizza. I already gave that guy an olive branch. I gave olive branches here to everybody, Jesse. I'm not gonna do that ever again. I did that yeah. for a reason. To be to be on here right now and be able to do what I'm doing right now. And it feels very good to do that. But I'm not yeah. gonna do it for freedom more, Jesse. You Wait, should start making so come on, people support Jesse. 
What's your cash app, girl? What's your cash app, girl? Come on, do it, girl. Come on, let's make some money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it for I'll, free, girl. I'll Come on. You're not I'll type in you're providing, No, Jesse, you're providing an entertainment here, girl. Come on. Come on, people. Cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Super Chat, Super Sticker. Get your members ongoing, baby. Let's do it, baby. Let's make that money, baby. No, 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 no. We're not doing this for free no more. Um, I just don't understand, like, Angel, listen, Angel is stuck where she's at. She's going to remain supporting yeah, Emory, whether we yeah. like it or not, okay? Yeah, okay, good. I don't like she, it. She, <laughs> whether we like it or not, she's going to do Emory. But I yeah, don't right. see the point of going at her because you, well, no, I you've been going at her, and where has it gotten you? Nowhere. Oh, no, so, wait a second. Wait a second. Going this, at her, this... though, is not going to... Okay. It's not going to affect MRE. He's probably laughing his ass off about it. Oh, I know he probably. Oh, of course he is. Of course he's laughing his ass. He's 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 got he's got her. He's got the uh, information between him and Victoria dangling over her head. Of course he's laughing. You see what yeah. I'm saying? But remember, something similar to this happened in 2022, and you know what I did? And she dropped and she dropped and she dropped him like a hot potato. She did, and things got to simmer simmer down a little bit this time. This time, I'm not going to stop until that person's dropped like a hot potato and, and Marie Moe's dropped like a hot potato and, and Tony Pizza and, and, and uh, the stand-up Tony lover. I will not stop with the public awareness, even if I have to open up 20 million websites, 20 million social media accounts and reach out to the newspaper. And eventually, Angel... It won't, don't don't be surprised that one day I do decide to talk to your to your alleged biological uh, brother because I'm going to I'm going to look into that too legally whether it's true okay, because well, it's we're, a, not, we're not going to talk about okay we're not going to go I'm sorry Jesse I'm sorry I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I get no, carried away I'm sorry I'm very about that over here I don't yeah you know. I know I'm I'm very it's a, you know what happens is that I'm here I, I'm ready to go see the Godzilla movie. Right, and I'm very amped up about it. I really, really amped up, very amped up about it. Uh, I am paying for everybody because you know uh, I'm not like Nicholas Cole. Oh, I'm like, oh, I couldn't say that either. Damn it, man, I can't say anything here. But anyway, no, I'm just kidding, Jesse. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so who's there? Who's there with us, man? Is that Argo? I brought up. I brought up Argo. Oh, hey, Argo, doing? what's up, my brother? Yeah, I only been backstage for like 20 minutes. I know. Oh my sorry. god. Well. You know, Tony's been talking, so, um, so yeah. Listen, I mean, my point with what you did, Argo, is at least you did apologize. I mean, she's not, you know, people aren't always going to accept apologies, but at least you apologize. However, yeah. Well, now she wants to go real life, so it's fuck her. Who's that? Real Argo? life on you. She's real life on you. Oh, I know, I know. She loves that. She's she's uh she's being supported by uh but you see, you know Jesse, they actually apologized to Angel, but she never apologized to me in regards to having MRE and Chicago Muscle go after my fam and stuff. She never did. She never did. She never did. Because who she never thinks he's special. Who know what what are you talking about, Soflo? Who never apologized? Oh, the, the, yeah, because I did apologize to her because remember what I did? She was platforming Chicago Muscle and MRE and giving her stamp of approval, just like she's doing to Marie Mo, Tony Pizza, and Chug back in 2022. Were you around when you when that was happening? You remember? Yeah, I was around. Yeah, right, right. So then what I did, I did. Now this time I'm going to do it even through the roof now. It's going to be even worse than before. But what I'm saying is that what's happening is that I apologize for, for that, but she never apologized for me for platforming these these people that were going after my family on her show and, and, and giving her stamp of approval. She never, she never did. And that's um, in the moment she in the moment she didn't never did that. When I saw she never did that, I knew that this day was going to come. And here we are once again at the end of 10, 2022. But with me having a lot more ammunition, a whole lot of a lot more resources and a whole lot of power, baby. Well, more than I'm going to go back to what I said with Angel. You know, there's a lot of times that people will say things and then weeks later, that, you know, somebody will say, I'm sorry, I misspoke, or this, that, and the other. I mean, I can't say if she apologized or not. No, um, she didn't. She didn't. So she didn't. She did. She did or she didn't. No, she, she didn't. did. She'll even tell you. She'll even tell you that there's nothing to apologize, right? It wouldn't even surprise me if she would say, no, I have nothing to apologize to this guy because he went, he came after me. And the reason why I started roasting the daylights out of her and the people around her, because she had, she was propping up Chicago Muscle, uh, MRE, and a couple of other people. And I, I could have kept on. But I was satisfied when, when you know, when Chicago Muscle's moderator status was taken away. I, I was satisfied with that. And I said, okay, 
I'll be Mr. Nice Guy. I'm not going to be the bad guy. Here I am, man, the bag. Say hello to the bad guy, man, bag. You know what I mean? I, I said, hello, okay, I'll stop. But this time around, I will not stop. If you, if you continue to platform and give your stamp of approval as being the angel guidiness of this community, and you're going to give your stamp of approval to Marine Mo attacking people's families, going real world on people, and doing background checks on people and their families, just like she did to Chicago Muscle and his dad. Actually, he started doing background checks on his father and stuff like that. Are you serious? A hero, a hero of a war of the United States of America? You're going to platform this person? You're going to put a Tony Pizza on your show for him to defend himself? Are you serious? There's, no, there's nothing for him to defend himself with. Nicholas called a cone, a person who even lied to her and said he was never accused of, of ever being a, a child predator. Are you and dangling things over her head now, her and her daughter? No, 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 no. You're going to platform those type of people, the stand up tranny lover who out of the knee jerk reactions go, oh, come on. This is, I've been saying the same thing on nauseam ad infinitum. I'm just, I'm just waiting for her to. Uh, uh, to try to go uh, legal on me or something like that um, with some type of paperwork so I could, you know, take it to the news or maybe reach out to his beautiful, to her, her beautiful brother. I don't even think he knows what's going on here. You see what I'm saying? And, and it's wrong what's going on here. And I'm totally against that, Jesse. I really am passionately about that. Well, but I'm going to make some money. I'm going to make some money too. I uh -huh. wanted uh -huh. to talk to Argo, though, about is there something you could do about her making these accusations, Argo? Or... No, no, the only thing I can do is just find out her real name and make her life a miserable hell. But what? Well, there it is. No. That's that's, but that's yeah. In that's, the retrospect, there's nothing she can do to me right now, right? Because <laughs> they come out, they check my book, I tell them what I'm doing in the machine, and they leave. Right, and it, you know she has got to be record that. of somewhere. At, at some point, these people are going to get sick. She, she thinks she's a, a union expert. You know, you it, to be an operators union. Yes, I'm. I'm going to be in the operators union, but right now, no, I am not in the operators union because I don't have enough hours in. See, I'm in the C branch. I was in the labor union. I retired out of the labors, joined the C branch union so mm -hmm. I can start getting hours for the operators union. See, he says, oh, well, the C branches are mechanics. Okay, so when a machine breaks down, who comes out and fixes the machine? A C branch. Okay, so when I'm in the machine and I'm operating, and these union reps come out and ask me what I'm doing in the machine, I'm saying, "Hey, this machine's broke. You know, I'm out here seeing what's wrong with it so I can fix it." Simple as that. But then, and also, I sign papers stating that I'm already starting my three thousand hours to join the operators union. Right, right. right. So she's trying yeah. to she's trying to make this thing that like I'm not even a, I'm like an in-house labor because I work for my father-in-law and. Wow, she thinks man. she knows everything. She has no idea what the fuck she's talking about. My point and she can was, deny it all she wants, but the last union rep that came out, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, came out and said, yeah, I've been looking for you for the past two months. You know, I've been getting complaints that, you know, you're a laborer operating. Argo, but don't you think it's wrong that we have this, uh, this okay, female 100%. here in this community? This female My here in this community? Oh, I'm sorry. 100%. My question is, though, at, at some point, these people that she keeps sending out there, they're going to get pissed off at her. Well, now they're not going to come out there now because now the one guy finally took my name down and and did his research and realized that, yeah, I'm on the list doing my hours. Right. So, you know, they were, she wasn't giving them my full name. Oh, OK. They, they only had Derek Argo. Oh, that's all they had. And they oh, had a video Marie, of me Marie. operating so Maureen is going real world on Argo, and 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 Ange, and Angel Gotti uh, uh, gives her a platform and gives her a seal of approval. She can to say that I'm lady. lying all she wants, and I have no proof. I just posted a picture of the union rep coming out checking books on my community tab. Yeah, but do you think that that was necessary for you to be able to do that? You know, a person who's uh, semi anonymous over here doing backgrounds checks on you, reaching out to people that have to do your job. How would she like it if they do it that to her or to somebody around her? I don't know. I don't. I don't think she would like that at all because she, she, she's very soft skinned. Yep. Well, she already, and, know, she already and, and, and my accident. suspicion is that her husband is in that union because she went and checked um to see if i have an induction date because she posted on a video that i posted that as of this date i am not in that union so once mm -hmm. i find out her name and her husband's doing this shit like oh they, those two she she's she's just digging herself a hole so she better pray to god that her name never comes out that's all i'm saying it's not a no, no. she could pray she wants she could pray she wants it's coming it's coming baby well, don't forget she already, it. she already got accidentally discovered trying to 
dig up shit on me, which good luck with that. I mean, on all, you. All she found. Oh, was wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. On you. You're, you're one of my regulators. She's doing yeah. that to you. Oh yeah. She wait, wait, Argo, aren't you a regulator of mine? Don't yes, you I am. Oh no, no, Maureen, no, 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 Angel, Angel, listen to me carefully. Cease and desist. Stand down, your proxies. Stand down, your proxies. You can't touch me. I love you all. I love you all. So, Flo, don't you remember I came on your show and I explained oh, that huh? um, she she found that stupid petition about me and tried to quiet. Now, how would she, how how is she gonna like it when the day comes that it falls on our lap? This person's beautiful and wonderful identity, and well, everything listen. that she's been doing here is going to be done to her and more. Well, listen, everything I'm legal, say this. everything legal, everything legal, right, everything I'm legal. I'm going to say this. All right, let me say this. I'm going to say this very publicly. I will have nothing to do with doxing anyone. However, whatever somebody else does, I can't stop. Right. I, I will have nothing to do with it personally, but I can't stop what other people do. All right. Absolutely. So but wait can, a second. You can take that how but you want just, to. Right. Right. Of course. But Jesse, let me let me let me give you another scenario. Let's say I was your friend and I mm -hmm. cared about you, right? Mm -hmm. And I cared about you, right? And all mm -hmm. of a sudden I'm here doing this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm I'm doing background checks on Argo. I'm trying to uh, affect them in the real world. I'm doing background checks on people's families. I'm doing background checks on heroes of the of wars and stuff like that. So I could come on here and, and act like I'm like the super duper thing. And then all of a sudden Argo tells you, Jesse, can you do me a favor? And you say, what? Can you please talk to SoFlo and tell him to stop doing that? Because nobody knows who he is. And since you support the guy and give him a platform, you say he's your friend, they're going to come after you. What would you do, Jesse? Would you tell me, SoFlo, stop? Would you? Um, if you're like trying to dox Argo or something. Um... Yeah, let's say I'm your friend. I'm your friend. I've known you for years. Like Marine, like Angel's talking about Marine, and then I'm doing the same thing that Marine's doing. And then Argo tells you, Jesse, come on, tell I'm your pretty, your. I'm pretty sure this is how that conversation would go. Uh -oh. Argo would come to me and say, so Flo is trying to dox me. Right. And, I, and this is what I would do. I would say, so Flo. Don't do that. I don't like what you're doing. Right. Now, please stop. stop for me. Yeah. Well, I'll, oh, and you will even I'm say, gonna I'm not going to have you on my show. Go You'll ahead. even say, I won't even have you on my show anymore. Right? Well, you're not letting me finish. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I would say, so slow. I don't like what you're doing. Stop it. I would yes. go back to Argo and I would say, Argo, look, I did what I could do. If he does anything beyond that, I can't help it. I asked him to stop. He's a grown man. Okay. I, I physically can't force you to stop. There's nothing. No, no, you can't. Do. Right. But, but wait so a second. I'm right? gonna get back. And then what I'm going to do to both of you is I'm going to say, neither. I don't want either one of you doxing each other. Um, but you yeah. all got to fight between yourselves. Leave me out of it. Right. But wait, but, here's, but wait, we got an issue. We got an issue. Let's say I'm an, I'm semi-anonymous like Marine. Mm -hmm. Who, you see what I'm saying? If I'm semi-anonymous like Marine and I'm your friend, and, and, and you understand what I'm saying? And then I'm going after Argo and you're, and you're still letting me come on your show and talk about giving me, you know, every time I come on your show and you talk to me, you're giving me, you, you, you're giving me a platform. You're, oh, you're I'm going to be furious at her for giving yeah, you the well, platform. If you're doing yeah. that, first of all, I wouldn't let you on my show. Guys, uh, I got to go. I love you all. Argo, I love you, my brother. Stand right, strong. Sure, Jesse, bro. stand strong. We're winning. We will continue to win. As a matter of fact, we already won. Okay. Later days in child. Don't miss my show I'll tomorrow. Moody Monday. Okay. I'll no, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I guess I got to go. go. I would not let Soflo on my show if he's going to keep doxing somebody. Right. There second you go. Of all, second of all, though, what I will say to that is that's it. I'm just going to just not let you on my show, and that's going to be the end right. of it. But I'm also right, going to tell, right. tell Argo, look, guys, like I don't want to be in the middle of this. Um, yeah. I don't want either one of you doxing each other. I don't, you know, right. I would not let you on the show. Um, 
And yeah, again, I but she already did. It. But see, but the thing about it, she already did it, Jesse. She's already been doing this. Right, so it's but coming. I'm not her. She's not me. Oh, I don't. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. She she does it a different way. What she'll do is she'll still put the person up there and she'll say, "Oh, you know, I'm like, ah, it's okay. I mean, Maureen, she's my friend. I don't agree with her what she's doing, but she's over here, and, and you know, I love her. And she's my friend, you know, and that's what she does. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going for the hypocrisy. No, 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 Miss Gotti, it doesn't work that way with Cubans, especially half black ones who did 22 years in prison who don't give a fuck about nothing. I love you. I'll let you guys know tomorrow what I think about the Godzilla movie. Argo, love." Love you, baby. Stay strong. We got him. We got him, baby. Thing. All right. <laughs> like All right. I keep saying, when you promote it, you provoke it. You know, well, exactly. when you platform it, you promote it, and then you provoke it. Well, and I, I can be, I can be childish and and pull the family card because you know this is my family's business. Next year, my wife's going to be part owner of this company, so I can play the Johnny Mac card and be my family. But no. I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of it my way, and it's gonna be my issue, and that's the end of it. Well, my, what I was trying to finish up saying is no. Obviously, I would not let somebody on my show that's gonna dox you. However, I'm not everybody else either. Everybody has a different way of handling things. Yeah. Maybe maybe I would bring SoFlo up, and maybe I would tell him publicly, "Don't do you know you're you're misbehaving." So maybe I would bring him up in that respect. You know. Um, but, you know, to say Angel turns a blind eye, let's be fair here, though. We all turn a blind eye on each other, too, you know, to, cer yeah. to a certain degree. Yeah. I, mean, I agree with that. There are certain things that, there are certain things, Argo, that you do, and I and everybody knows I yell at you if you do something I don't like. Um, there are certain things you do that I'll tell you I don't like. Um, and you do it often, but it and <laughs> and you tell me when I do things you don't like, and that's fine. But if we weren't friends, um, exactly. we wouldn't see past that either. Exactly. So you know, it it's not really fair to say that. Okay, well, Angel turns a blind eye. We we kind of do too, to a certain degree. I mean, you know, listen, if if. If I don't know, if you cracked a funny joke at Maureen, I'd laugh and snicker and giggle. If she cracked a joke at you, I would growl, right? And the whole funny thing is her argument that this stems from is a comment that I said she said. That's it. And mm -hmm. she knows I can't prove that she said it because the show got taken down. But all I did was just repeat what she said. And that's her whole issue with me. So now, fuck her. She's got yeah. whatever she's got coming to her when it comes time. Well, like I said, I, I'm not going to promote anything that gets done to her, um, but I'm not going to cry for her either. How about that? You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm not a doxer. I don't like her family being talked about, but I'm not going to like, I'm not going to bow down to her cause either because she's brought a lot of this on herself. I mean, I can play the family card. I have a, the excuse all day to go after her family because technically she came after mine, but I'm not going to go that route. I'm just going to take care of handle things my way when the time comes. That's all. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, not one. Exactly. I'm more. I'll sit back and I'll let things happen. I'm not I'm not the eye for an eye type because sometimes it just doesn't work out. <laughs> um, and I also I also try to be better than what I dislike, you know, I try not to, I, I don't, I don't want to become the monster that I hate, you know? Um, but listen, Argo, thank you for coming up. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to close out now. All right. I'm jumping down. I'll All see right. you guys. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right, guys. Well, there you go. We had one hell of a two hour show. Um, guys on the replay, if you catch this on the replay, feel free to donate. Um, listen, I don't have to be on live to donate. Um, for those of you that did donate, thank you very much. Um, I want to say thank you, Angel, for coming on. Thank you, SoFlo, for coming on. Thank you, Argo, for coming on. Um, everyone try to be kind to everyone. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next chat room. Bye, guys.